Hello, I'm Nicole Wagner, Director of Mission Delivery here at Make-A-Wish Wisconsin. Welcome to our Celebration of Stars event. I'd like to especially welcome Wish Kids, their families, volunteer wish granters, medical referral sources, and donors. This past year, we've all had a glimpse of what it was like to wait for hope. But the moment there's something to look forward to, everything begins to change. In the midst of this challenging season, we are continuing to work with all of you to grant every wish as soon as we possibly can. This beautiful wall is the focal point of our office, just like every name on this wall represents the focal point of our mission here at Make-A-Wish. Every wish kid named on this wall has a story of the impact of his or her wish. To share their story, please welcome Hannah from Brookfield, whose wish was granted in 2020. Hi, my name is Hannah Kay. I have double inlet, single left ventricle transposition of the great vessels, and this is my wish. When I was first presented with my Make-A-Wish, I was overwhelmed with the possibilities. I could literally have anything granted. I thought of a horse, a pool, custom camper van, a trip to Hawaii, and a shopping spree in New York. My thoughts were endless. After months of daydreaming about what could be, I chose an online shopping spree. With this amazing wish, I was able to get things I normally wouldn't and afford things I knew I couldn't, all within the comfort of my home. I created my wish list and my wish list granters waved their wands to make it happen. It was a very special occasion. There was a big box with every single gift wrapped. Balloons, family, friends, and at the end, I got to go to my favorite restaurant for a birthday dinner. I got a Lego set I've been dreaming of, a few classic video games, shoes, clothes, a Taco Bell gift card, bonbons, and I even got a cowboy hat for my friend. But these wonderful gifts weren't all that I got. I was given so much hope, and with this amazing opportunity, I was able to afford new camera gear and technology to enable my dream of becoming an amazing action movie director. With this drone, my camera, wonderful accessories, and great software, I'm ecstatic to see what great films I can create. I'm driven by a newfound passion that came from this hope that I dreamed up and Make-A-Wish made real. Thank you, Make-A-Wish, for everything you granted when you granted me my dream that day. And to all you big dreamers out there, don't wait for hope, create it. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing your story. Hannah's name is one of 215 wish kids whose wish was granted in 2020. It is my honor to unveil this year's class. Thank you to everyone who helped make each one of these wishes come true. It takes an entire community to grant a wish. In reality, these 215 names represent thousands of people across Wisconsin who know the power of a wish and who have invested in these kids. On behalf of our organ entire organization, thank you for all that you do and for investing in ki giving kids hope when it is needed the most. And now, please welcome my colleague and Director of Development, Wendy Cousins. Thank you, Nicole. Happy World Wish Day, everyone. Today is a great celebration as we honor the wish that inspired the founding of Make-A-Wish. Today, we also got to hear from Hannah, our very special wish kid, and her wish was to have an online shopping spree. We all know so many of us right now are doing online shopping, so we hope, Hannah, that you just loved it and we were grateful to hear about how it impacted your life. Many, many of us on the um, event today and listening today are wish kids and wish sponsors and supporters and corporations and foundations and individuals who really make sure that they are lifting up wish kids who are struggling with a critical illness. And we, we have to do this all together. And so today it's just great to be able to celebrate all of the people who make wishes come true. So we created our donor and wish child honor wall because we really had a strong desire to acknowledge not only these amazing wish kids, 
but also um, the folks who made wishes come true for many, many years. And this wall is actually the vision of Peggy Ann, our volunteer, and uh, Carrie Comente, who really came up with the concept behind the wall. And it's really important to them that the superstars behind us led to being able to support the wish kids that Nicole already talked a little bit about. And that is our extreme focus is on making sure that those wishes come true. And really, for Make-A-Wish Wisconsin, over 7,300 kiddos have had their wishes granted. We're really pleased with the Superstar Wall today to unveil some new folks who are going on our wall. And that's really important because the Superstar Wall really represents those donors, corporations, foundations, individuals who have been with our organization over the many, many years who have contributed a cumulative dollar amount of over $250,000. Some of these folks have been with us from the very beginning. So we could not make wishes come true without many, many people surrounding our wish kiddos, our wish organization, um, and making things happen that could only happen with the support of many people coming together. So today I'm really excited and pleased to acknowledge the unveiling of the next three people to go on the Superstar Wall, and that is 40 Tribunes, and also the LaBarber family, and Make Their Hearts Smile Truck Convoy. Thank you so very much for everything that you do to make wishes come true. This year we've all had a glimpse of what it feels like to wait for hope. We've had so many dreams deferred due to circumstances beyond our control. We're still waiting to feel hopeful again. So are children with critical illnesses. For them, feelings of isolation and hopelessness are all too familiar. Hospital stays, doctor visits, and painful treatments are their new normal. Family plans are put on hold indefinitely. Uncertainty looms constantly. But the moment there is something to look forward to, everything begins to change. With hope, we are empowered to change the course of our circumstances and transform the lives of those around us. Hope isn't something that happens to us. It's something we can create. Helping more kids find hope is something we all have the power to do. The hope of a wish is more than a temporary escape. It is a wellspring of strength to keep fighting for better days. In these times, hope is essential for children with critical illness and you can unlock its life-changing power today. Don't wait for hope, create it. And now, please join me in welcoming our president and CEO, Patty Gorski. Happy World Wish Day, everyone. You know, we would have loved to have did, done this in person, but unfortunately, you know, COVID, and we wanted to make sure that the safety of all of our wish kids and their families and our volunteers. So thanks for bearing with us and, uh, and helping celebrate the joy of World Wish Day. You know, World Wish Day is an opportunity to celebrate all the wishes that have come true all across the country and the globe for the inspiration of the first wish granted. And the first wish granted with Chris Gracious's wish and the first gr wish granted in Wisconsin for Katina in 1984. You know, since that time, the impact has been indelible for over 500,000 kids across the globe who've had their most heartfelt wish come true. For that, we couldn't begin to thank you enough for helping make it all happen and for entrusting the kids to our care to make magic, hope, strength, and joy happen for all these special kids and their families. You know, you don't have to wait for hope. You can help create it, create that magic. And that's what we invite you all to do. Go today in honor of World Wish Day, consider making a donation and go to our website at wish.org slash Wisconsin slash donate. Again, wish.org slash Wisconsin slash donate. So thank you all for joining us today. Thank you for bringing hope, strength, joy, and magic to wish kids and their families during often the most dark times of their lives and for helping create hope 
and especially during this crazy and difficult time that has been the last year and a half. So from all of us, the Make-A-Wish staff, board, volunteers, donors, wish families, we say thank you. Thank you for helping being involved. Thank you for helping create life transformational wishes for kids. And thank you for the spirit of giving and, and creating such joy. Now to help us celebrate, country music artist Katie Calhoun is going to be serenading us with two special songs. Katie is one of our amazing champions um, living in Mississippi, but loves Make-A-Wish Wisconsin and has been helping us make wishes come true. So Katie, take it away. I'm Katie Calhoun. I'm here to play some country music for you and keep you motivated. And I just want to say, as an artist, I have to stay positive. And I have studied how to surround myself with people that love me, my friends. And I want you to do the same thing and stay positive and believe in yourself because that's what it's going to take. So this first song I'm going to play is actually my manager calls me up and she goes, Katie, I need you to write a country song and I need it tomorrow. And it was like six o'clock in the evening at this point. So I said, all right, well, honey, I gotta get to work. So I wrote down three words. I wrote down dogs, whiskey, and saddles. Cause at the time I lived on a horse farm. And this is my song called Something Real. And it goes like this. Yeah, boy. Leaning on the ceiling now, self-consciously, I'm saying, I'm trying not to move around. You got the pen. We all know where I've been. Yeah, maybe I'm not as good. Who knows where it is? I'm on the side of the law. I'm trying to do it right. Ha, ha, get up. Hey, you can't run away.
right, so this next song is to motivate you and keep your spirits up. It's called Rise Up. And y'all, I am so proud to be a part of Make-A-Wish, Wisconsin. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. All right, so it goes like this. You're broken, darling, tired. Living life on a merry-go-round. Oh, 